Hi, everybody. Oh, don't let the camera fall. There we go. All right, so this is a real quick... So the first minute of this is a very short flight. Anyone that's familiar with the Bay Area, this is a uh, fer little ferry flight from Oakland to Hayward, which is, I don't know, six miles. I mean, hell, I could drive it down 880 if I really wanted to. So I'm just dropping it off for a... Uh, dropping off one of the club planes for an inspection. All right, so in today's video, and happy Monday... Happy Monday. You know what? My one and only rant. To people that say happy Monday, f*** you. You are going to get drop kicked in the taint. Happy Monday. That's like saying happy tax audit. Alright. Anyway, so what we're working on today is we're actually going to be working on the final version of the CAN bus, right? So the G3X uh, system communicates all across all the different line replaceable units. That's what Garmin calls them, LRUs, or just modules. Uh, with this CAN bus. I've described it several times, you know, it's a Bosch standard made in the 80s for data transmission. They use a lot of cars. If you've driven a car, you know, from made after 1984, you've probably driven on a CAN bus. Anyway, uh, we're starting by making the very center console CAN bus, right? So we got five pieces of the Garmin system right up the center, right? At the very top, we're going to have the G5. Underneath, we'll have the audio panel. Then we'll have a radio. Then we'll have the GNX375, and then the autopilot controller. Wait, no, oh, that's not right. No, I'm sorry. Autopilot controller at the top, audio panel, radio, GNX375, and then the G5 at the bottom. I actually wanted to do it the other way. The problem was um, there wasn't enough room. And I talked to a couple other builders that had to, like, file down part of the sub-panel to make the G and X fit, but... Because what was happening was you could fit all the pieces in, but then because of the way that the sub-panel was, it was actually tilting the boss radio. I, di I didn't want that uh, kind of stress on it. So I said, you know what, that's, that's fine. I can just swap, swap the G5 from going at the top, and I can put it at the bottom. Easy peasy. So that's all done. Uh, it's nice because, you know, you've got five things right on top of each other, so making the CAN bus connections for it really isn't that much of a pain. The only real pain is that I've found... So you've got all these connections between all these different boxes, right? Um, a lot of stuff comes in for the electronic controller, but that's behind one of the displays. You're going to have the radios and the heads... You're going to have the mics and the headsets come in for the audio panel, right? You're going to have the lights come in for a bunch of switches. You're going to have all the... Uh, position sensors come in for the engine monitor and then you're going to have you know uh, antenna coming in and then amongst the boxes themselves so like the wasp gps radio is going to have four or five different rs-232 paths coming out i think i actually i'm using all five right because the displays want them you know you got map connect you've got m uh connects bus map x bus these are just fancy terms for shoving data around and, you know, you've got to have backups here and there. There's a backup to the G5, a backup to the autopilot controller. There's backups everywhere. So there's a lot of wires. And the one thing that ties them all together is that CAN bus. So I guess my point is, is that when you're ready, I would insert the CAN bus pins at the end, right? Because that's something that links all these different connectors together. Until you link them all together, they're all sort of separate. and You can flop them around and work around with them. But as soon as you connect the CAN bus to them, now they're all part of the same chain. If you look, you can kind of see the floppy nature of it while I'm working on it. Uh, so yeah, that's what uh, we're doing in the next video. And I am putting a second video. No, I'm not putting a second video. I'm sorry, this is Monday. Uh, Wednesday, we're going to be working on installing the ELT in the tail cone. So, thank you for joining me, everybody. See you soon.